So many people ask me on a daily basis, Stash, how can I make money playing games? These NFT games I hear about, play to earn, how much money can I make and how do I go about doing this? Where's the big money at? Well, today I'm gonna be talking about exactly where that big money is in an upcoming tournament that I'm gonna be a part of that you do not want to miss out if you're looking for that big play to earn money. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. So today I'm talking about a little bit of these play turn elements. You know, people are always asking me on channel when I'm on stream and video comments, how do I play and earn? How do I make the most money? Where, you know, what, what game has the biggest return? Where do I go to do this? Like, you know, why can't you just give me the answers outright? And I'm like, I talk about it all the time. Just keep watching the channel. And every day I'm putting out content about this or talking about it in my live streams. Now, when it comes down to ways to earn in these NFT play to earn games, every game is a little bit different. So some people are like, well, how much do you earn per hour? How much is it per hour? Well, that doesn't necessarily apply to every game because not every game do you earn in the exact same way. And so uh, one of the cool things I've been playing here recently and been playing for a long time, but really uh, stepped up my game with is Splinterlands. Splinterlands is one of the games that has one of the higher earning potentials and is actually a really fun game. I really enjoy playing Splinterlands and I love the community there. And so, uh, you know, I have a really big announcement today that we're going to be going over of a tournament that I'm actually going to be sponsoring and helping be a part of that has $25,000 worth of prizes. And so when you talk about playing to earn, this is your opportunity no matter what level you play at. But before we get into all those details, if you're a big fan of gaming, NFTs, and earning money in crypto, then make sure you subscribe here to my YouTube channel and smash that like button if you want to continue maximizing your gaming and NFT profits with me. All right, so let's go take a look at this. So this is a tournament that I have teamed up with my friends over at Zen Sports and also with my friends over at Theta TV and Splinterlands. So this is a four-way partnership and I'm really happy to be bringing this to you. So this is called the Stash Classic on Theta. So this is a actually a month long tournament that is going to culminate in a, a massive tournament, uh, a, a massive like a, a you know 32 person uh, you know tournament on Theta TV that is going to be hosted by yours truly. So you can see where uh, you know I'm right there with my whole stash classic little uh, uh, you know banner and stuff like that. I love it, man. The team did a great job here. So how this is going down is Zen Sports is a company that helps to put on esports. Uh, you know tournaments and they're having they have a focus here on crypto so they pay out for a lot of these tournaments uh, in cryptocurrency and so they're putting up a really big prize here for the stash classic on theta TV. we've teamed up with my friends over at theta and splinterlands to do this and so uh, you know I, I've been playing splinterlands a lot on the channel every Wednesday we uh, grind together on the NFT grind and we are building up the stash uh, secret stashers guild and uh, showing you guys tips and tricks on how to maximize your earning on the game. So the Stash Classic is coming to Theta on October 16th at 11 a.m. Eastern time, which is a little early in the morning on in the Pacific uh, here, but uh, you know, you, you guys can join me kind of early. I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna be hosting it, and it is gonna consist of 32 players in a double elimination style tournament, and there's gonna be $25,000 in crypto prizes. That's right, man, $25,000. So this will be streamed on Zen Sports channel here on Theta and I will be helping host. As you can see, uh, we're gonna be getting down with this. Now, the way this is gonna work is that this is actually a month long event that starts with uh, preliminary qualifiers. So you need to play in the qualifiers to be qualified to play in the Stash Classic on the 16th. And one of the things I actually really love about this is that they are taking in consideration every level of play. So no matter if you play at the bronze level, which is the lowest uh, league in in uh, you know in, in, in Splinterlands, or if you play a, a silver, gold, or diamond, no matter what what level you're at, you can enter in this, and there's a bracket for you to be able to play in. So there's going to be uh, for for the final event for the Stash Classic, there'll be eight players from each league, right? So eight players from bronze, eight players from silver, eight players from gold and diamond. So no matter where you play at, what, what level you're playing at, how many cards you have, how much power is in your deck, you have a chance and a spot to be able to try and get some of that big crypto money. 
So I'm pretty excited about that, uh, and, and uh, we're getting a spot in in the in the 32 player uh, stash classic on October 17th, uh, 16th. So uh, basically, what it comes down to is there's a bunch of different uh, uh, you know there's scenarios of how how you qualify here, and it requires you to be playing uh, the qualifiers that happen during the middle of the day the week, and then also a weekend qualifier. So they've already kicked this off, and the gold qualifiers have already started. They started on the 6th of September. And then we're going to see our first uh, our first uh, one coming this weekend, uh, this weekend qualifier uh, here on 9-11. So 9-11 uh, at 11 a.m. EST, uh, the, the top eight that qualify for that. So you start off with, uh, you know, a bunch of people, uh, top 32 qualify for the weekend qualifier for these pre uh, preliminaries that are happening during the weekdays. And then the weekend one is where you decide which eight people are going to the Stash Classic. So we're starting kicking it off with gold. And then the next one uh, is diamond. That's it starts on 913. So you got to get in on that. So you get a chance for the weekend qualifier. And then silver is 920. So you got to get on that if you want, if you're in the silver league and uh, and then you get the weekend qualifier on 925. And then for bronze, we're kind of bringing up the rear there, 927, and then 10, uh, 2 is when you're going to be qualifying on the weekend for that Stash Classic. Uh, so uh, make sure you lock in those spots. And the way it works, too, is if it, once you qualify for a certain tier, you can't go up and down, right? So if you start off bronze, you're going to have to keep playing bronze, uh, even if your rating or whatever goes up, uh, up and down in Splinterlands. So it's a little bit of breakdown about, and there, there's a whole uh, application process you have to go through. So you you, you got to jump in there uh, and uh, fill out application. I'll put the link to this uh, post here in the in the actual description, so you guys can get in here. You guys can get your application forms and get going. Uh, for those that are in diamond, silver, or bronze, uh, you definitely have a chance. Now, people who have already started off in gold, that has already gone, uh, you know, down since we put this out there. So uh, hopefully, we have a, a lot of people who are interested in the silver and bronze leagues. I think. Because uh, that's where the majority of people are playing at this point. So uh, let's get to the good stuff. The good stuff. It's about the prizes. It's all about the prizes, man. This is what is up for grabs. So in the Stash Classic here on Theta, uh, you are going to be pit against uh, you know all, everybody who is qualified. And the top player is going to be leaving with a Gold Foil Nebby Sin plus Kralis NFT plus an NFT trophy. And four thousand dollars in crypto. Plus, they'll be getting uh, ten sports tokens per follow on uh, the Theta the the, uh, the Theta channel. So Zen Sports is hosting this, and they're going to up the uh, ante here. Ten sports tokens for every follow they get on the Theta channel as the, as this is going. So there's even bonus thrown in there. Then second place is getting a gold uh, gold foil Gorlodon plus three thousand. Third place is getting Gorlodon plus two thousand. And then as we go down, you're just getting crypto prizes sixteen hundred. Five through six, thirteen hundred, and all the way through uh, thirty seconds. So even if you are the last person, even if you're the very last person, and you qualified for this this uh, event, you're gonna get fifty bucks. You're you're still walking away with fifty dollars in crypto. How awesome is that? So I think that is pretty cool and uh, pretty interested in uh, you know this in particular for everyone of every skill level has an opportunity to do that. So. Uh, they have some more information about payouts and brackets and and you know how you win and these uh, sport tokens uh, and, and what those really mean how they you, what you can do with them because uh, people can do like a bracket prediction contest which is pretty cool they're going to release some more information about that uh, here pretty soon but that's something that if you're even not playing you can get in on and uh, predict what's going to happen just see you know see like hey well what's going to happen the stash classic i don't know but I i'll figure it out and i'm going to bet on it maybe and then maybe you win so that's a quick rundown on the Stash Classic on Theta coming October 16th. Hopefully you guys join in and uh, you can get qualified and I will see you on Theta in October, guys. That's all we have for today, folks. Till next time, stash that crypto, friends.